Hello. How you doing? We are going to be going through trailers today. So let's start. Let's just start now. No, no more. No more fizzle fazzle. We are going into, of course, the big number one. Well, actually, it's number two on trending. Oh, what a disaster. It is the new remake Matrix 4. I don't actually know exactly what it is. I'm not a massive Matrix fan. I watched the first Matrix like 15 years ago and thought that was cool, but it also wasn't when it just came out, so I wasn't blown away as much as I should have been. And then I didn't watch two or three. I heard they got bad, so I didn't touch them. So who knows what there is to expect, but let's get back. Let's, let's just get back to the world of Matrix that I barely know anything about. I know you the means, I know the concepts. You particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? Oh. I just dreams. All right. That's lovely. Can we have that in slow-mo in a way that's not going to hurt people's eyes? Because I got... I... A wonderful way to watch trailers, I... eh? Imagine if this was the first time I watched any trailer. Like, anything at all. I just always watch it at quarter speed with just the blurred voice the whole time. Mm. Would that be good content or terrible content? It sounds a lot more robotic and horrifying. Gunshot, catch the gun, spiders, spiders, double guns, double guns, hand holding. Back, spine, get to the matrix, have a ring. Alright, and now, now at least I'm glad I could consume it that time around. <laughs> That's good. Basically, he's got PTSD and he can't handle it. Crazy. We don't use that word in here. Inside the matrix. I'm thinking too much about this. I, I know such surface level information. I can't even process what I'm seeing. You know. Okay. Uh, not the sort I was expected to pause on. I was gonna say Keanu's really having like a bit of a nostalgic session, isn't he? Or, or I guess he's just being pushed into everyone else doing nostalgic things because he just came back for Bill and Ted, and now here he is again in a bathtub. Memories. Hi. Ooh, it's so... You see, there are some characters, there are some celebrities that I'm like, I've seen them everywhere. I thought they started here. And then there's others that are just unequivocally their character. That's actually, I'm feeling nostalgic. And I've, 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 I've watched this film once 15 years ago. It's barely even connected to me, but I'm feeling it. Does she have Have we Okay, so like, am I supposed, is that, is that relevant to the fact that it's a sequel? Do, am I supposed to know that everyone's memories got wiped and Neo's the only one that knows what's going on? Is that why he's going to therapy? Because he remembers, yeah, he remembers everything, of course. She saw, like, he saw the back of her head, which I might have even been, might have even been a scene from Matrix 1. All right, it's slowly piecing together. Oh, it's the blue pill. Oh, Neo, what you doing? What you doing? That just makes me think cyberpunk. That looks like a live action cyberpunk sequence, does it not? One. Like literally, this is basically every cyberpunk player when they first opened up, when you stare at your own mirror, when you've got a weird, uh, not a weird, but just like a new hairstyle. And everyone's like, wow. One pill makes you small and the ones that hmm. You, so even after the ending of part three, you don't know what's happening here. Okay, then maybe I won't spoil it for people reacting to this. Gotta find that red yes. For God's sake, this damn song just doesn't stop, does it? Oh. No, mute it. He finds a girl. It's not the same girl as before. Ooh, he can age? He can see his true age? Fly. Yeah, this is really, uh... This is annoying. <laughs> Copyrighted songs all the time. You want the truth, Neo? You're going to have to fall yes, on I me. Do. Well, do we have to? I mean, could we not leave Matrix like as its own untouched bubble in the past? Do we have to reboot it again? Do you have to really make Keanu do another character from the past? Can't he do something new? Can you give him a break? Actually, he probably doesn't want a break, otherwise he wouldn't be here, but you know. Anything that matters to you is still here. I know it's why you're still fighting. Oh, is that the girl he likes all matrified? No, no, it's that's thing. Fighting no, okay. and why you will never give up. Nice. I know this. This is where he learns how to karate fight. You don't know me. No? Whoa. Whoa. That first one was ironic. That, that second one was real. Nice. 
Ah, oh, what a lovely Christmas movie. Matrix 4 is a Christmas movie. It really talks to the theme of family and Christmas presence, religion, and a strange guy running around the entire world changing everyone's lives. It's red. That's got to be Santa Claus and his hive mind of robotic disaster nightmare fuel. Okay. I mean, everyone else was hyped up about this, so it's not personally my kind of... I, I don't have the attachment that everyone else has, uh, but I want to see some cool stuff. Matrix has room to do cool things. Show me the cool. Whatever it be. Do something new. Do something refreshing. That was kind of sweet. To be going back to where it all started. Back to the Matrix. That's the name of the thing! That was not a good line to start. Like, he, he just said the title. That was it. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't even enunciate to be an ending. It's just, he said the line! Give, cue the credits! Crew the title screen! There it is! He said the word! He said Matrix, everybody! Go home! And then Neo just turns around and says, What is this, some kind of resurrection? Uh, uh, he said it! He said it! He said it again! Bring out the title screen and the cinema! Put away your popcorn! You've had your fun! Get out of here! Uh, they, uh, they don't disappoint. One, two, 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 one. Wow. They felt real smart when they did that, didn't they? Doesn't work in the UK. That's two two one two two one. Yeah, all right. I don't see why people were as obviously it's mostly nostalgia. That just looked kind of basic. I was expecting to see an element of a scene that was really would be really revolutionary. You know, you know, like how Inception there was the guy running along the walls, and that's in the trailer. I was like, I would want to see more of a scene like that. There was a guy of running on the walls, but we've seen that before. I want. Something super matrixy. He stopped bullets. She flung over like a rocket launcher. I guess it's that. I hope it pushes a boundary. Because I didn't see a scene that blew people away. I've seen the shot though of the duck on his head. That seemed to be the most memorable bit. Which fine. That's fun. Another Keanu Reeves uh, meme to add to the collection. But give me a matrix that stands out and isn't just... Again reboot you know now there is one more trailer as much as I'm using two fingers to point there is one more trailer that came to my attention at the very beginning of this stream it just released today or yesterday depending on time zones 22 hours ago and I'm actually quite curious to see where it goes it's from the new animation studio that's burgeoning through and on top of that it's something we've already reacted to briefly so I'm, I'm like I'm their number one fan in chronological order I'm their first fan for registering that this is new, and I'm curious to see the new content. It is the three-piece rhyme, Ron's Gone Wrong. It's got an official trailer now, so let's give it a look, shall we? There's two kinds of people, Dad. The ones who have a bee-bot. I was gonna say, yeah, the ones that are bee-bots and ones that are humans. And the ones who sure. don't. Hey, guys. Oh, sorry, I'm in your shot. Oh, I have a filter for that. Yeah. What? <laughs> anyway, no no, Sorry, I was gonna say, it's kind of weird. I'm gonna say it. It's kind of weird to have a photo camera device and a streaming service that's the height of your ankles. That's just not good. People play VR chat at very short heights. That's not good. You know what I mean? Oh. Can't they make them levitate a little bit to be a bit more normal? No. Oh, I have a filter oh. for that. It's another one of those social media commentaries, but at least it's not just, you know, emoji movie style. Really? You need a bebot to have a social life? Yeah, Dad, kind of. I, I don't want you addicted to some device. Yeah, no. Oh, man. Maybe that's the thing, though, right? They have to get started somewhere, so they have to play the game and go around with this damn theme. I'm sick of this theme, man. Friend out of my box. But something <laughs> is a little off. Did Ron go wrong? Barney, uh, your Bebot is like super weird. I am Barney's Bebot. Will you come to my secret sh Here, Ron, a bunch of your code is missing. <laughs> You're supposed to know everything about me. Hair, brown. Height, 4'11". 5'11 would be better. <laughs> Girls would not laugh at you. Hey! 
Uh, yes, they would. 5'11", not a good height. Not a good height. <laughs> Making friends is what he's for. Friend request? Friend request. If he... Oh, that's like a 10-year-old reference. We don't do friend requests anymore, do we? I guess Discord still does it, but that's such like a Facebook quote to me. <laughs> Who's head up? That's very impressive. That, he's he's like got some good wax in his hair. You see in this? His hair's not even coming down. Look how much hair my hair goes down because it follows the laws of gravity. This guy's literally being held by his hair partially and it's not even lifting up a bit. Oh boy. This is pulling my head off. You can't pull his head off. We'll get in trouble. Okay, I cannot pull his head off. I have no mega safety controls That's... and stuff. Copy him. Find that code. Unlock, 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 unlock. <laughs> wow, okay. Is this really safe to be giving our children? Ah, capitalism's gonna go unregulated anyway. This will happen in the world. Like I ours. Looking. Why is that granny always there to be beaten up by Bebop? By Ron. To that. You think? I'm not leaving you behind. They will send you to the crusher. We'll go to the crusher to- Oh, so it's like E.T. Together. No, crushing is not fun. <laughs> not fun. Okay. Where is it? The- All right, I mean, okay, I see the plot now. I was like, the plot's not going anywhere. Find the road. We don't need anyone else. I currently have one friend. That is sad. And also tragic. The one line I like. No problem. I want to, I want to like, I want to um, support it though. All right, it could be fun. I gotta give it a chance. It just so far, it's hitting a lot of cliched marks. Not the most of them, but it could be. Are we having fun with me? What's the thing it's gonna introduce that's better than the original? Some humanity? Is it got a f cool ability, or is it just gonna be glitchy? But it's still a friend. Oh! It likes the grandma. Hey, buddy, how's the bee bot? Both of you, it's where I can see him. <laughs> that was a very, like, that's that's like a boss baby kind of joke. <laughs> it's where I can see him. <laughs> Does that make sense? That's, like, childish. What is this demographic? What's it going for? Because it's not as young as, like, the Sony, it's the Sony style. <laughs> Man, okay. I am less Maybe invested. Turn it off and on again. I am less invested than I was seeing the teaser. It's where I can see him. This is the worst scene. Also, like the guy doesn't even react in the background. You think, you know, with a little bit of character animate, maybe it's early, but like gets hit, doesn't react. In fact, I don't even think he animates. He stops animating. He's not even breathing anymore. Although he's, he's, okay, these guys aren't ever breathing. They haven't quite got that level of detail on them. There you go. <laughs> that expression is precisely how I feel about this. Maybe less of the thumbs up and just... Feels like another... Maybe I should just make a collection of emotes out of just... <laughs> weird expressions on characters in movies. That would be another one. Just kind of... So there you are. Um, but that was Ron's Gone Wrong. Oh boy, okay, time to lose a, a lot of brownie points. This is James Bond. You know James Bond. I, uh, I don't know James Bond. I have watched, um, zero James Bond movies. As a kid, my mom never introduced me to them. As a teenager, I was busy doing my own thing. And then as an adult, uh, never, no one ever brought me back to it. I didn't watch them in cinemas, didn't watch them ever. So I know nothing James Bond. I mean, I get the idea, it seems pretty broad. I have, however, seen this trailer. And I like, I like this actor, but not as James Bond. I don't know why, he doesn't, I don't like, I don't know what it is. I, in this form, I'm just like, eh, uh, whatever. But I really liked him in Knives Out. I liked him with a thick, weird American accent. Is that weird? I think part of the reason I've been interested is because it's just so generically action. I don't know if it's pushing the boundaries. Is this really what you want? And like every trailer's like, are you ready for this? Do you want any more? And he's like, no, this is my last one. 
And then, here's another one. Oh, he signed on for three more movies. So I'm like, alright, cool. If I want to see the big retirement movie, why don't I just wait until the big final retirement movie? Is this his last one? Is this his last one? Always I don't know. Am I going to understand any of this? Probably not. It's led him to London. James Bond has been led to London, everybody. The British spy who's been here for like 60 years, it feels like. He's finally been made, he's finally made it to the capital city of his own country. <laughs> to this. What, is that James Bond? I have a feeling that wasn't James Bond, but okay, sure. Now they're just floating in the ether. I feel like, like I've watched so many parodies of James Bond that I feel like I know James Bond through that, you know, like Johnny English. Seeing a big bomb shum, like come flying down with leaving little, little little bombs just makes me think, oh, like what are those kind of comedy parody kind of spy movies? That's all I think, you know? When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. Oh my cool. God, Who was target that? enough people. Big explosions. And the people become the weapon. We gotta stop nukes and the people that become the weapon. Who is he? Like, James. I also feel it must be impossible to make a trailer for a James Bond thing because it's so just, just action. Him doing more things. Like, I, I can't get invested no matter what this trailer does. That being said, I like that celebrity. I like that actor. Very, very good at Night of the Museum. Very, very good in Until Dawn. You don't know what this is. No, I, I really don't. <laughs> I want to see like a big law based change. Like I want to see two James Bonds show in love with Madeline. Or I want to see James Bond die and then watch someone else pick up the mantle in film to confirm that. <laughs> Does James Bond have a badass female partner that's not romantically interesting or ro a romantic interest, but is a very good spy? Can we have someone like that, that then he dies and then the female partner picks it up and becomes Jane Bond? That'd be a pretty bodacious ending. That's Good all I want to see. As someone who has never seen a James Bond movie in the 60 years it has existed. So you gotta trust my opinion on where this franchise should go. I mean, is it just gonna spin around and shoot people? Because I know that's what the car does. That is the spy car thing. Is there a new? Do something different. Show me something new. Okay. What? He was. Why did he pause? And then he just. He just spins and shoots. The car's done that for 60 years. Let it die. I know this is no time to die. Come on. This is. I don't mean to be a hater, but is this not just the most generic thing that James Bond has done for the last 60 years again? If we don't Show do this, something new. push a boundary. There will be nothing left to save. No, there won't, because there's no integrity in this franchise out of this trailer. I have to finish this. You have a flow like this. No. Explosion. <laughs> Imagine 007 dies and Johnny English takes over in film. My god. <laughs> Yeah, like, it got, like, I watched it in cinemas, I blinked a couple times, ate a couple magic stars, and then moved on to the next. Oh man, I really just don't enjoy movie trailers, do I? Why am I going through this? Oh well. <laughs> so, yes, this, uh, this little weekly franchise thing we do is meant to be trailers of the week. So, let's, why not expand into video games a little bit, especially since it's all being condensed in one video anyway, so... You came here for movie content? Tough. You're now getting stuck into video game content. Which technically are movies because the first one we're doing is Spider-Man. Although I have te- I, I actually- I don't know if I've seen this one actually. I was there watching like the PlayStation whatever it was through other streamers. Um, to see what, what this actually shows. Because I have actually no idea myself. So, I did not play Spider-Man 1. But I did watch the entire- 10 hours of cutscenes. Very much enjoyed the story. One of the better Spider-Man stories because it's 10 hours and not two. I also watched all of uh, Miles Morales. Really got sunk into that as much as I didn't play it because I didn't have a PlayStation 5 at the time. 
really, really, really enjoyed it. So I imagine I will really enjoy this. I hope that's the cafe where uh, Stan Lee works. That would be cool. For as long as I can remember, Electro. I have looked for an equal. All right, one uh, who dude. would push me. One who could that. surprise me. Yes, the better Spider-Man. One who could even beat me. Co-op game. Yet the goal I found is, that is on disappointment. Will one of you? Although there's that one stock sound effect in there that's like ching. That is just like the sound effect from Cinema Sins, and I can't unhear it. In Finally, there. give me so what I desire. Could I have some bread, please? Maybe a cup of water. Thank you. Also, your souls. You did. Oh, come on! You didn't even reveal on the. We will. I had no idea that Venom was in this. Wow! I just didn't see this trailer. Hell yeah! I'm really curious to see how they're going to do that as well, because is that that looked like a co-op game, or an online like duo duo game, or can you do individual Peter Parker things, Miles Morales things? Can you do individual side quests? I'm really invested. I've got the console to play this finally. I can play it. That's great. Hell yeah. All right. Sweet. I I mean, it was just a teaser, but there you go. Daz, please look at God of War Ragnarok. I can do that. I have it on a tab already ready. However, you will be disappointed with my opinion. For a start, I have already seen this trailer like at least twice. I think I was watching Lyric watch this trailer and he just watched it on loop. So I definitely know most of what happens. On top of that, I am not a God of War fanatic. I played a little bit of God of War PlayStation 4. I love the soundtrack. Um, but for one, some reason, I couldn't get into the vibes. Maybe I'm just not as big a fan Time of fantasy as I am sci-fi. The prophecies say Fem Winter leads to Ragnarok. I beat like the War Irish god, and then I was like, all right, the I've had enough. The fact that he was so powerful and like you felt like you did nothing and I felt so powerless, I'm like, I can't be bothered. No, I'm I can't. In these woods. Yeah. I should be out there. Does this push boundaries or the last this again? Is this pushing boundaries Maybe or is it just more of the same? Though to be fair, the same was pretty good before. You know? Well, Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. What if there was someone who I like the accents. I didn't think the sun would go in this direction. I didn't think he'd be more aggressive. I thought he'd keep his uh well, for a dead man. Weaknesses. Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. If he's out there, we gotta find him. See, come I would in. play this game to walk around like what? just no, the towns. Be the happen to him. We're trying to stop Ragnarok. I don't play these to games. Help right. And what if the only way to do that is war? <laughs> Is not the only way. Stop think thinking a... like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No. no. See, I don't like the trailer too much. You I think also like I'm just not too into like action games. There, they sort of mind They were you on the mind too much. Or I get person. bored when it goes on too long. The, that Irish fight at the beginning of the last game, way too long, too bored. Like, uh, just finish. And now that's how this is gonna start. Thor's gonna show up, and then they fight for like 20 minutes. You're like, can we stop? I don't know, it just doesn't stick nothing. with me as well as, it, as oh, others it? get stuck to this. Uh, I just can't that watch this forever so and ever and ever. I don't have such an aggressive soul. I can't throw around an axe and be satisfied with that. I'm also bad at like the combo work, so maybe it's that too. Are you coming with us? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just, like, that's not an answer, my dude. Standing up hey, is not an answer. Up. Someone did say watch the uh, the Wolverine trailer. I have. There, there, I, I, the Wolverine trailer is incredibly underwhelming when you know it's a Wolverine trailer. 
you know? Because what happens? There is bar, it is broke. There is man, he drink. There is man, he walk. There is Wolverine. It's great as a reveal, but that's, that's the, uh, wow. That's Wolverine, that's crazy. I am excited for this, but I already saw it. I reacted yesterday in silence, watching it on a couch. So I apologize. Pokemon Evolutions, a new series. The official trailer, eyes emoji, from the official Pokemon YouTube channel. All right, what is going on here? London Pokemon, or is this just an advert? This could just be a, a poorly placed advert. Get ready to battle. Oh, yeah, okay, Pokemon. Sword and Shield, that makes sense. London, do they do it better? Has this not already been a thing? Is this like the season two of this environment? I have no idea. I liked Pokemon Sun and Moon's anime. I liked the design. Watched half of it on Netflix. And then the rest were on Netflix, so I stopped watching. Ooh, what? What? That wasn't... What generation are we in right now? They're combining? What? Is it a merge of them all? That's a whole different style. From eight Pokemon region? What? Huh? What am I looking at right now? What is this? Uh, is it just mashing them all together? Because they just... Was it just... Is it a collection pack? 1995 to 2000... That tells me... That tells me that... What is it? It's new series. Okay. Alright. It's just gonna put everything together? They're doing generations again. Oh, uh, okay. We're just following the side characters instead of Ash. I guess that makes sense. I didn't see any Ash. Okay. Interesting. Po the world of Pokemon is doing some things. But otherwise, it very much looks like we are out of content to watch already. There is there is just nothing this week. So I can't I can't make any more out of it, you know? So I think that's a bit of an anticlimactic end to our very first video. I do apologize, but we'll do this every single week. So there will always be something new eventually because we're covering everything as it goes along. But otherwise, I think that's 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 all there is for this week. So my apologies for the s slow start, the small start, the anticlimactic start, but we'll be back again all the time. Come check out our schedule and just pop your head over to the channel. We'll probably be streaming half the time that you check. Um, but otherwise, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care. I, mean, I guess I'll see you in a bit.